The Chainsaw Man opening. Every movie reference, anime easter egg, how many did you miss? You got Chainsaw kicking off with Denji pulling his cord. Right behind him you could actually spot this painting, Dante's The Divine Comedy. What he definitely missed was that this painting is also in fact inside of Makima's house. With Denji and friends suited up, you actually got a reference to Reservoir Dogs. Reference aside, what you may have missed is Denji and Power messing with each other like little siblings. And don't forget for a split second, Makina looking spicy. Is that a spy family reference? For the far shot, I do feel like this is referencing something completely different. Any guesses? Next up you have Kid Denji embracing Pochita. This is a Chainsaw Massacre reference. Kind of obvious with that background and really perfect for an anime literally titled Chainsaw Man. The CG captain is a reference to Nick Fury in Pulp Fiction. You got the same background, the seats, the gun model. He's not black in this, but CG. Motherfucker. Next up is the reference to the Japanese movie Sadako vs. Kayako. I can't be the only one that thought it was a Japanese ring reference. This bitch is messing up my floor! But not too far off, it's actually the crossover of the ring versus the grudge. Next reference, No Country for Old Men. Highly recommended. Bird Boy here is Gal Gali. The driving scene is a reference to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. You might have missed that they're in fact driving an American car. The steering wheel is on the left. Unlike Japanese cars. Next reference is way before my time, Attack of the Killer Tomatoes. I think I played the game though. You got Kobeni acting weird. Notably, don't miss on the right, there is a devil outline. Much detail. Next movie reference is Don't Look Up. I think I actually might be more familiar with the meme of this, but it's based on the 1996 Japanese horror film. Next reference on the stairs with this angel guy is Jacob's Ladder. This one went over my head, before my time too. Next reference, Constantine, an American superhero film from 2005. Not gonna lie, it looked like Mikasa and Eren for a second. You know where my head's at. As for the theater scene, you got the Chainsaw Man guys in the theater. I've seen some places mention this is a little reference to some other movie. You know, the Chainsaw Man author Tatsumaki Fujimoto being a fan of cinema. But I think because of that, this is actually a reference to some of his past manga. Like Goodbye Eri or Fire Punch. Both of those featuring theater or movie scenes. Oh, and I almost forgot the obvious Chainsaw Man theater scene. Definitely can't miss Black Adam. What people may have missed is that these guys are actually watching these past reference Hollywood classics. Up in front you have Denji, Makima with some corn, Aki, the lady looking like King Bradley is Himeno, Kobeni, which you're gonna love. Unfortunately, Power stole her seat and drink a bit later. Timbuk says her crying is gonna become a meme. And Horokazu on the far right. But let's not miss the guys in the back. Angel, she looks like a cutie. Beam, aka Sharp Boy, this guy's a blast too. Expect Sharp Boy and Denji scene to go viral. The name of the doll looking chick is Prency, and Captain Kishibe in the far are back. Moving along, don't forget about that tumbleweed transition like in some old Hollywood films. Next reference is one you're familiar with, The Big Lebowski. Did you catch this one instantly too? I remember watching this movie stoned at the uni. I wonder if that 26 and 24 have any special meaning. Notably also a red bowling ball. Bonus easter egg for power. Fujimoto has actually revealed power's personality when inspired by Walter from The Big Lebowski. Next reference, Thor, Love and Thunder. Apparently Fujimoto loves Saika Watiti films. I hope this just doesn't curse Chainsaw Man. Not gonna lie, I'm like 50-50 on this one. Feels like it's partially a reference to Rock Fox from the 80s and 90s. Although you do have that thunder effect. Up above, do not miss that skull jaw. Something I know you definitely missed. Hello, miss. Is this girl padding? Are he besties with Eris? <laughs> and let's not forget that awkward shot of Mr. Sim Denji on a leash. Hey boy, can I get a wolf wolf? <laughs> Very quickly, you do get a glimpse of the snake devil and tons of zombie-like hands in the mouth. That is just a nope. You do have this blonde and this other guy next to the devil. I'll just mention the blonde is a devil hunter by the name of Akane, and the other guy goes by Katana Man. Very briefly, you see some giant bullets, these belonging to the gun devil. Not to be confused with the devil Gundam. You then have Makina looking over Denji working, which no surprise, he got work at the end of episode 1. For every weep's dream, you have Denji in Makima's lap, looking like a doggy or Subaru. A little bit later, you do have Venus flytrap swarming on him, which could really symbolize Denji, just like a fly, being drawn in and snatched into whatever Makina is cooking. The next scene shows Denji with his hands reaching forward. This type of gesture is used a ton in anime, especially in anime openings. Reaching forward is towards what he wants. Maybe some Makima cake. 
But perhaps all of this is just a dream. You see Denji waking up when he fails to grasp what he desires. There's also this small bug, maybe an ant on the hand. Anyone know? A little bit hard to tell. But don't miss this, the background. I'm going for the stretch. When I first saw this, I got this Lion King vibe, like a lion stalking its prey. Or maybe it's just a reference to Black Panther. Too much of a stretch? You decide below. When he wakes up, what's up with that different green bug on Denji's head? Apparently this is a type of wasp. It actually uses its venomous stinger to paralyze cockroaches, making them sluggish, unable to escape. This green sucker then uses his antenna to lure the cockroach into his barrel, aka a symbolism for whatever Machina is doing. Speaking about weird bugs, you got the weird green snail. This is actually a reference to a real life parasitic worm that creates zombie snails. At this point, the Chainsaw Man opening is really hammering you in the head with it. For something a little more kinky, you do have Denji's blade coming out. Also, don't miss this nose blade, which you know what that means in anime. The chainsaw blade coming out of his head, an obvious stand in for getting hot and sweaty. Someone give Denji some water. But don't miss out on the split face, him losing himself, giving in. Then, for the focus on Makina doing that camera pose, she's really locked in on her prey. A little bit later, blood splattered, meaning target confirmed. For the lovely power coming in, you can actually see her red shoes briefly. What you may have missed is that they're actually the same as Denji, for story reasons I imagine. For the devil they're fighting, this looks like something original for the Chainsaw Man opening. Could this just be an enhanced juiced up version of the great bedevil? It's kind of looking like some Digimon with chains. Then for Denji crashing three times. C-S-M, spelling out Chainsaw Man. I freaking love this level of detail. Let's do it, Denji going berserk mode. This referencing Evangelion 01 Awakening. Get in the robot, Shinji, or should I say Denji? There's people that seem to think this is a board to his data reference instead. The chainsaw opening is directed and storyboarded by Shingo Yamashita, which has worked on Naruto Shippuden, so Evangelion, Naruto Fox mode, or something else perhaps. You then have that gold ball from Fight Club. I think this one was pretty obvious. Something that goes over your head unless you're a Japanese speaker is that the gold ball is actually slang, kintama, balls in Japanese, which is definitely referencing some fun scenes coming up. For a little easter egg, you do get a reference to smart power. Don't forget about power's trademark mallet. Did someone say new popular cosplay this year? Switching over to Denji breaking that egg. Could this mean Denji bad at cooking? Or that egg just symbolizing his life? Shattered and broken. Quickly, you do see this room, which is from Denji's nightmare. Bro, run! Topping this off, that badass walking away from the explosion. Originally, I thought this was a reference to Hollywood movies in general doing this, but looking at Fujimoto's past work, this is a reference to Goodbye Eri, or let's just say Fujimoto's other manga. Oh, and don't miss this, power posing. Trying to look sexy or just cool. Meanwhile, Aki, run! He's just tanking it with a smoke break. You then had Kid Denji with Pochita. Manga readers will go aww. For some more juicy symbolism, you got power in her birthday suit and Kid Denji. Combined with everything here, it's really just showing that ignorance is bliss. Both of these two really just being innocent. Power is only concerned with playing with a furry friend. Yeah. And Denji's super happy with Pochita, really only concerned with finding his next meal. Like that bag of white bread. Bread makes you fat? If you're culture or just have an art background, you may have noticed this perspective. You got Aki standing on some snow, looking forward, unable to see the full picture. Don't miss out on the detailed snow on top of his head and shoulders. Then Makina standing on books, really symbolizing her vast knowledge. What do you know, Makima? This is beautifully juxtaposed to her only able to see the truth, this dark void on the other side, which perhaps could be seen as a stand-in for the darkness in Makima's own heart or mind. But wait, there's more, a reference to this devil coming up, and this other poster that looks like a fox demon? And no, I don't mean Naruto. For more devils, names only to avoid spoilers, you got this devil just vibing. The future devil's just looking like a hollow or Jujutsu Kaisen wannabe. There is a fugly ghost devil. <laughs> Don't steal that lamp. Then for a big one, the blade devil hinted at a little bit earlier with that sign. Just a blaze of death swinging in the background, watch out. For power and Dendi dancing, apparently this is a reference to Mickey Mouse's clubhouse. 
Honestly, I don't 100% buy it. I feel like this is something else. But did you miss it? Look at Aki. Oh my god, a surprising Razor reference? But seriously, let's just say this is something Fox related to Powers. So post below anything I missed, especially if you don't agree. Check out my juicy video on fall anime, it's super packed. Subscribe for weekly anime videos, spy family next week, and I'll see you guys later.